Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today we are I'm going to tell you about about the Valentine's Festival. So this has been going on for a few days now. And I love the Valentine's Day Festival. It is super fun. It's like the best festival ever. In Overlook Bay. So if you now You ride around town, and you get to the Valentine's Day Festival. It's right here. Or you can just teleport there using the Valentine's Day Festival teleportation device. device. Um, so now, there is the cutie hoverboard, which I'm riding right now. The Cupid's buggy. The Cupid's bow. The Coco Valentine. The Mystical Ladybug. The, I think it's polka dot, uh, spotted, I don't know. And this is the, I think the rainbow one? Rainbow ladybug. Comment down below if I'm wrong. So, there is this new thing called the Cupid Fountain, which only lasts for the Valentine's Day, of course. So, if you get off your personal vehicle, and you talk to him, They'll be like, well, hello there, my friend. My name is Cupid. This is my fountain of wonder. Inside this fountain, many magical things await. I can fetch you something for my fountain for a price, if you'd like. So, if you say bye, bye, uh, it'll, it's 500 gems. It's not that expensive if you're not, if you've played for a little bit. But if you're just starting out, I wouldn't recommend buying it. But, once you get, like, maybe a thousand gems, you're pretty good off. You can buy one or two. Uh, so, from the from Cupid, you can get, there's a 55% chance you'll get a pet pod. A 35% chance you'll get a vehicle. a ten And a 10% chance you'll get a collectible. So, if you get a pet pod, which you'll most likely get, uh, you can get the Swirly Lolly from, um... Which is 40% chance. Rainbow Lolly, 30% chance. Cocoa Bar, 50% chance. Berry Bar, 10% chance. And a Valicorn, 5% chance. So, let's talk about all the other things. The Cube Hoverboard, great, great one. I like it. It's really nice. The Cube is buggy. It's okay. It's not the best. It's nice. If you like driving around in a car, that's kind of slow. If you like faster, I would recommend the Cutie Hoverboard. It's a little more pricey, but it's worth it. Get the Cupid's Bow. Great choice. Because you can get gems from a... Eh? Not as much, but you can. Uh, the Coco Valentine, which is 750 gems. Um, It's interesting, because you get 100 plus pet XP... If you feed it to your pet, but it's 700. It's good if you really want to level up your pet XP, but you um have a lot of cash on hand. You just have you just have nothing to spend it on. Um, you could spend it on the Valent the Cupid, of course, but it's a good way to get XP, pet XP, meaning you can get shinies, meaning you can get more gems. The ladybugs. I think are really cool. They're really cute. I would really want to get the the uh, rainbow ladybug. So, and that's the whole area. But there's much more than just that. If you look around town, there are these little trees. Like, see, this, this is a mango tree. So, if you click E, or, you, or if you're on mobile, just tap it. You can get fruit, so you get mangoes, and the mangoes, and then you shake this tree, so you get, you can get, uh, I think it's a pear, yeah, you get pear, and then you get some pear. And once that happens, you can go to the farmer's market, so it's not the actual market, per se, it's more... Hmm, how do I say this? It's the little stand, so if, let's ride to the farmer's market. 
right here. So, it's literally right here. You just get a Valentine's area, and then it's right here. It is not this store. It's not the big eye catching store. It's this little area. So, you go to Clyde Organic, and you talk with him. And he talks to you. He's like, well, hi, hello there, little EJ207. Um, and, uh, so, what you can do is you can, you can look at his shop. So, you can see apple seed, orange seed. Or, you can, you can sell it, which is what I'm going to do. So, if you sell, if you sell, sell your items, the pear and the mango. So now you click sell, and boom, and you'll buy it for you, 44 gems. So that's getting four fruits. So the more rare, so look at this. So this is how much you can sell them for. So apples are the most basic, they're most, they're easiest to get. They're only five, worth one pot. Each one is worth five gems. One orange is worth eight gems. One pear is worth ten. One mango is worth twelve. One banana is worth fifteen. And one peach is worth twenty-five. The peach makes sense because uh, Megan plays the other creator of this game has her her channel Megan plays. I'll link it in the description. But she she has Peachy Squad. So, that's something I understand. So, if we just teleport back to the Valentine's Festival, just go back there, you go to the Wishing Well. So, go to the Wishing Well. Wishing Well. Now it's nighttime, so I better hurry up. So, we go to the Wishing Well, and you're here. So here you can get the normal stuff, 50 gems, 40%, 65 gems, 35% chance, 80 gems, 10% chance, 100 gems, 4.5% chance, bronze pet pod, pet pod, 4% chance, silver pet pod, 3% chance, gold pet pod, 2% chance, diamond pet pod, 1% chance, and the new thing is the Cupid's Teddy. The Cupid's Teddy is a Valentine's, which is actually that. Um, this the Cupid's Teddy, and you can buy wishes, which I don't want to. But if you get the Cupid's Teddy, it's a zero point five percent chance, which is really rare. I wonder if she's actually the real Megan Blaze. So, if we just check out all the people on. It would say, I don't see. No, I don't see any. So, he's a faker. Yeah, it's a faker. I hate when people do that. They just, like, fake for no reason. So you can get the Cubist... Okay, back to what I was saying. You can get the Cubist study is a 0.5% chance. So if you get it, it will, will bombard you. Like, literally bombard you with trades. Unless you don't show it. I mean, then. So if you get the Cubist bow, and you hit these little arrow thing these hard thingies they give you gems literal gems so it's what i like to do is i like to like ride around and just like try to find where every single one is and once i find every single one i'm like i'm just gonna do everything so this is a fun little activity you can do every single day. It reloads, and you get more games. Ooh. So that was most of it. Let's. I'll 
although I want to try one more thing. So, let's we'll go to the Cupid, and we can. So, if I just take out my Cupid. So, it's up to you again, and then I'm getting one this time. Buy. Yeah, I'll buy one. So now I only have 588. So, oh, ooh, he got me something. I got a Coco Scooter. Cute. So you can, that's what you can get. So this is, oh, somebody has a Cupid Teddy. Oh my god. So if you get the vehicle, so you can put it in vehicles. And then just get the Coco Scooter, and it is... Whoa, it's fast. Fast. So that's one of the things. There is much more to explore. I'm going to leave you guys to do the rest of that. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.